So amnesty, I think it's a great idea. What happened was in October 2020, the Secretary of State for Education wrote all the university leaders and told them, we have sent you the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism. You have not adopted it. If you don't adopt it by Christmas, there will be financial consequences. Basically bullied them into adopting Three quarters of the universities in the UK have adopted it in one form or another. My suggestion would be that either together with the British Society for Middle East Studies or alone, Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch write a report, uh, a letter, we can give you all the email addresses of all the university leaders, and say, we hear that courses are being canceled because we have found that Israel is an apartheid regime. And if you teach that Israel is a racist endeavor, that's from one of the illustrative examples of the IHRA, then you can be cast as a, a, an anti-Semite. And so a lot of people that want to teach our materials in their courses cannot. And see what the university leaders answer. Something very concrete and act, and I'll be happy to work with the, uh, we'll be happy to work. Now, Germany is, I mean, Germany is Germany. <laughs> I mean, it is a different ballgame from our perspective. And the way also that the institutions that we've been in contact with them following the expulsion of staff and things like that over the past few months is very arrogant. And basically have nothing substantive to say. So there is, for example, a, a, a Lebanese anthropologist who's very well known, Hassan Peg, that was in the Max Planck Institute in a very kind of prestigious place. And he tweets, and he tweeted things that are very critical of Israel. And from one day to the next, he was fired. So we wrote this letter and we explained that everything he said was within the law. He didn't say things that were outside the law according to German law. And that the whole thing was silencing, blah, blah, you know, one of our letters. And a couple of days ago, I get a, a response from the director of all the Max Planck Institutes. And basically, he says in two sentences, we warned Hassan Haig, and he didn't tell you we warned him. And because we warned him, and he didn't do anything to stop his Twitter, we fired him. Yeah. Now, there is this crazy moment with Germans supporting Israel because of Germany's history, but supporting Israel as it carries out genocide. And that's a crazy moment. And I hope that Germany will be a bit self-reflective when it's doing, but there's not much we can do from here. But there are different, I would say, add that there are different pockets throughout Germany me that are organizing against and that are speaking up and even though protests were outlawed, they were out in the street and so forth. And that's how communities and solidarities are created and I think that's vital for the cause.